And joining me right now is Louisiana Congressman, House Minority Whip, Steve Scalise. And Congressman, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks very much for joining us. Morning. Good, good to be back with you, Maria. So, so what is this all about? We know that it's all behind closed doors. We know that there hasn't been a vote, a, a, a formal vote for the entire House uh, to vote on impeachment. Why are they doing this this way? Well, this is part of Adam Schiff's, it's like a kangaroo court he set up, but they've got this shroud of secrecy where they want to drip out things that they want to allude to. They, they make false accusations to try to, to tar the president, while if you look at the facts that have come out, uh, the facts have all said that this is a witch hunt, that the president did nothing wrong. The transcripts, uh, you know, we're talking about whistleblowers. Why do you need a whistleblower when you actually have the transcript of what was said? And the two people that were directly on the call, both have said there was nothing wrong, uh, including Zelensky again saying uh, there was never any pressure. He thought it was a good congratulatory phone call from President Trump. And so why Adam Schiff continues to hide in secret uh, the Volcker testimony, he was already starting to leak out some things that, that were false about it. And everybody else that, that listened or was participating in the Volcker testimony uh, said that Schiff was being uh, disinformed disinformative and frankly that the entire thing should be released to the public. What is Adam Schiff trying to hide, Maria? It's it's like a continuing pattern we're seeing from him of throwing out false information, hoping the mainstream press goes and runs with it, because by the time the truth comes out, they're on to throwing out more false accusations about this president, all to try to impeach a president of the United States based on secondhand information and false information. It's alarming. Yeah. So so what can you do about it? I mean, now this upcoming this week, uh, you've got a lot of your colleagues back, many of whom were uh, either on recess or, or visiting with in, in their districts. Does anything change this week that now you've got the membership back? Well, it could. But frankly, the, the first answer is to have a vote in the House uh, on an actual inquiry, if that's what they want. Uh, I think most people across the country are saying, you know, let's focus on getting the economy back on track, focusing on things like USMCA and lowering drug prices. You know, when you had the president go and get a, a partial agreement with China, that's a big deal. Uh, it's a big deal that should tell the rest of the world we can get better agreements with countries that have been taking advantage of us. And one good way to start is by passing a deal with our neighbors from the north and south, Mexico and Canada. And yet Pelosi won't do that because she's so fixated with impeachment. And I think a lot of these members in swing districts are hearing that, hey, you ran saying you were going to work with people to get things done, and all you're focused on is impeaching the president over a lie about quid pro quo that never even happened. What are you people doing up there? Yeah.